Prosecutor John Durham to investigate abuses by CIA interrogators of terrorism suspects during the Bush administration. Durham is already probing the CIA's destruction of videotapes showing harsh interrogations of two suspects. We've also learned more details about what those interrogation te techniques were, but how were they developed in the first place? Gordon Carrera investigates. To try and draw the sting, the White House also announced it was now taking direct control over interrogations. But the legacy of the past is still poisoning the debate. Survival, evasion, resistance and escape. The torture trail began here, at the Sears School. Its job is to train US military personnel in case of capture, preparing them for the techniques that might be used on them. Every technique that is used at Sear is one which has been used by an enemy of the United States against a U.S. service member, civilian, diplomat, intelligence officer, or hostage. One of the techniques that instructors taught and underwent themselves was waterboarding. They pour water onto your face until it goes into your nostrils and mouth and fills them. And that's not where it stops. That's the beginning of the process. And the people, as, as I've said, who are stopping these things in these amateur waterboardings uh, in, in the media, they're not even getting near where waterboarding starts. They're just getting a little water in their sinuses. It's when the water starts to push down and you start to gasp for air. And when you take that gasp, that's when it overrides your, your, your epiglottis. It will start pouring into your lungs. And you start feeling it right about here. And that's when you start to panic and you start to struggle. And as you start to struggle, you start pushing on your bindings. And then if, you know, if you've got a, you start kicking your feet together and then you start violently spasming because your body is saying, I am in an emergency situation. I need to get out of this situation. This is imminently life-threatening. It's been described as simulated drowning. There's nothing simulated about it at all. Nothing. We are just drowning you in a very slow, controlled manner. Sears training was designed to protect captured American military personnel. But after 9-11, its techniques were turned from defence to offence as they became the basis for the CIA's secret interrogation programme for captured al-Qaeda detainees, some of whom would be waterboarded close to 200 times. What's still not clear is exactly how this happened. Whoever went down into the school system and extracted all this information and then brought it over to where it was brought to the Defense Department and the Central Intelligence Agency. Whoever authorized that, and that is, the, that is the one thing that has not yet been found out, who actually signed the document that ordered defense to go to SEER, reverse engineer it, and bring it out to where they use these totalitarian techniques against actual captives. The decision by the CIA to use such techniques met with fierce resistance from the FBI, who walked out of joint interrogations in protest. My understanding is that the FBI was the first on the scene to a number of different interviews, and when the decision came to continue with the methods used by the FBI or move to a different platform and a different technique, the FBI chose not to participate. They walked away? They walked away. Today we learnt new details of CIA techniques like mock executions, some of which were used on this man, Abdallah Rahim al-Nashiri. He had a power drill turned on and off next to his head and was made to think a gunshot in a neighbouring room was another prisoner being executed. Threatening a prisoner with imminent death violates US law. The report also says that one interrogator told the self-proclaimed 9-11 mastermind Khalid Sheikh Mohammed that if there was another attack on the US, his children, who were allegedly in US custody, would be killed. Soon after he took office, President Obama made clear that he knew bad things had happened in the past, but he said it was best to move on. That hope has been dashed. The US Attorney General was said to have been disgusted when he first read the latest report. And today he announced the appointment of a special prosecutor to investigate whether or not CIA officers broke the law. Well, as the president has said repeatedly, uh, he thinks that we should be looking forward, not backward. He does agree with the attorney general that anyone who uh, conducted actions that had been sanctioned should not be prosecuted. 
but ultimately, uh, the decisions on who is investigated and who is prosecuted are up to the Attorney General. The White House this morning announced that it was creating a new high-value detainee interrogation unit. This will be housed in the FBI and report directly to the White House, a move designed to strengthen control and accountability. The CIA will still be involved in interrogations, but will no longer lead. There are reports that its current director is planning to stand down soon, just as a criminal investigation into his agency might be beginning. Gordon Carrera. So Hugh Ord is in his last week as the Chief Constable of the Police Service of Northern Ireland, a job he...